In summer 2021, the Committee ZIP, in partnership with the RPPCI Lobster Fishermen Association of the Islands, carried out a project to retrieve lost and discarded fishing gear on the New Hall and Grand Chen reefs in the Magdalen Islands. Lost fishing gear was located using an underwater camera towed by the scout fishing vessel La Petite Bay with gear retrieval then performed by a team of commercial scuba divers. In total, 63 lobster traps, 1,460 feet of rope and cable, one flatfish drag and one scallop drag were removed from the Magdalen Islands lobster fishing areas. So that's a start. However, if we consider that up to 2% of all lobster and crab traps deployed in Atlantic Canada are lost each year, there is still much more work to be done. In the Magdalen Islands lobster fishery alone, between 450 and 1800 lobster traps are lost at sea each year. These lobster traps continue to capture lobsters and untargeted bycatch until the biodegradable escape mechanism opens, which can take up to two years and which is too long. The resulting ghost fishing has a negative impact on lobster stocks, leading to economic losses for the fishing industry. Retrieval of fishing gear lost at sea can often be a long and expensive process, but using DFO's lost fishing gear form, fishermen can greatly facilitate the retrieval of their lost gear. Reported lost gear GPS positions can be transmitted to the organizations in charge of retrieval operations, making gear retrieval up to four times faster than when all relying on camera surveys to locate the gear. During the retrieval project led by the committee ZIP, a precise lost gear position transmitted to the field team allowed for gear retrieval by divers in less than 15 minutes. Reporting lost gear location to DFO entails no penalty, but makes it possible to return, free of charge, more gear to the rightful owners while also taking part in the protection of the island lobster stock. If we take care of the oceans, the oceans will take care of us.